So we understand to bring this field to zero, we have to apply current CP in the negative direction. This value of H which brings the remnant magnetic field to zero is called coercivity. coercivity. This remnant also has another name called retentivity. Okay, remnants or 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 retentivity or retentivity. The use of the the use of the term is very simple. You understand? So this is the retention or this is the remainder. Okay, remnant. So they are quite English words that are borrowed into our physics, right? They are they are not they are not from technical words in a sense. So which brings that remnant magnetic field to zero is called coercivity. You know, you, uh, coercivity is again another English word that has been imported. Uh, you know, you know what coercion means. What does coerce mean? To force someone to follow your diktat. Okay, to force someone to follow your uh, to follow your orders to 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 force someone into obedience. That is coerce. Okay, so it is actually forcing it to go to zero. That's why it is coercivity. Fine. Coerce. Any one of you have a dictionary in your phone? No. Huh? No? I would have shown you. So co coercion is that. So if you understand coercion, then you understand why it is called coercivity. Now, as my current continues increasing, as my current continues into this is this is a smooth curve. Okay. It it looks to be broken here. It's a, it's a smooth curve. It's not kind of okay. So so it comes like that and this and maybe something like that. Okay, this is a smooth curve. Uh, looks like a penguin or something. Uh, so so fine. And then as you continue increasing your current in the negative direction, again it keeps on going like that and reaches a saturation. You understand? So, so it it continues moving like this and reaches the saturation. As the current keeps keeps increasing. in the in the opposite direction okay the field reaches a saturation value saturation value for the maximum negative that means when you are here when your current is at D this is what happens you, you understand your current is maximum negative reaches saturation value as so so we are here now as I start increasing as the current current starts decreasing in the in the negative direction in the negative direction as it as the current starts decreasing in the negative direction what happens i start tracing this path And again, the field does not go to zero. Negative direction, the graph doesn't 
go to 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 the origin hmm b is equal to yeah yeah yes the graph doesn't go to the origin but to the point e instead e instead e instead so e instead so it reaches there thus it still has a remnant field oe in the in the negative direction in the negative direction right now to to kill that field again you have to so so to kill the field again you have to have you know so this point is e right the point e here is this the point f q okay to 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 cancel this field this field we require a current of value f q in the positive direction in the positive direction okay so 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 much so much and again that is called coercivity right hmm? fq fq this is this is current no so this amount of current but but uh, just mind it fq is not equal to of why because of is n times i it is ni correct fq in the positive direction and the cycle continues so so it comes here it comes like that so so this so so this thing is actually so this thing is actually actually only when you are coming from from the start. from the start otherwise it will not go back so i have shown it dotted fine i have made it dotted fine so so it is for the start now it will be following that solid one okay so 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 does the curve continues in a loop called this is called hysteresis loop because things things lag the zeros of both are not happening at the same time so there is a lag okay this is called hysteresis loop hysteresis means to lag hysteresis loop or bh curve okay this is called bh curve we understand so so this is the this is the bh curve that we discussed it is the 
बी एच कर्व और हिस्टेरस लूप ओके ड्यू टू दिस द द फ्लक्स एक्चुअली गेट्स डिस्टॉर्टेड ऑल्सो दैट आई शो यू मे बी नाउ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉनटेशन ऑफ दिस इज वेन एवर समथिंग इज 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 साइक्लिकली एनर्जाइज ओके whenever there is a cyclical application of a current or a voltage this is what will be the way the magnetic field will change and and the area under this loop okay the area under this loop hmm huh, the area under the loop is the i'll write it here maybe the area under the loop equals equals could you could you find out the product of b into h for me the area is always that is it not had it been v versus t the area would have represented v into t that is displacement that is what exactly we are doing in application of integrals now now if i could give you the part wise equations for these you will be actually able to find out the area and that area will be what can you find me the dimension for b and h b into h b is tesla correct b is tesla into h is ni so it is actually in a sense That's tesla a. into into number of turns per meter turns has nothing so per meter is there n the unit of n and i is ampere but that does not tell me anything much so let us come to what tesla is what is tesla tesla is tesla is what field field is what how do i define the field at a point q mm -hmm. f upon q f upon q that is for electrostatic field f upon q v f is equal to q v b f is equal to q v b f is equal to q v b so b is equal to f upon q v fine so so b is equal to f f is newton per coulomb okay upon huh? f upon q q is coulomb v is meter per second into per meter into into per meter into amperes. into amperes is what coulomb per second is it not so it's coulomb per second correct the coulomb coulomb gets cancelled so i am left with now what is newton newton is again mass into acceleration so kg or, or newton is force okay so so let it be a force now coulomb coulomb cancels so it becomes what it is newton per meter square second square okay now what is that what is that equal to force into suppose i multiply it with this is this is the dimension of what newton per meter square m by t minus 1 t minus m by t minus 1 t minus ha huh. oh meter uh, Oh, oh, oh. This is coulomb per second, is it not? It's coulomb per second. It's not coulomb upon. It was coulomb per second, no? Second oh. So actually, second cancels. So it is newton per meter square in a sense. So that so so that is what? That is 
kind of pressure but but let us try to understand what this is this is into meter per second okay there was a velocity where, where is that mass newton is Force into velocity is what? Force into velocity is what? Power. Is it not? Force into velocity is? Power. Power. Okay. Power per meter cube into second. Into second? Upon second. What have I done? Right now? Second is gone. F is QVB. So B is F upon QV. So F upon QV is this. This is QF upon QV. Fine. Into N into I. This is Coulomb per second. Second second goes. So it becomes Newton per meter square, which becomes, which becomes, which becomes what? Uh, force, force multiplied by velocity, velocity is power, power per meter cube. Yeah, but Newton uh, force, huh, fine, mass into acceleration. So? Meter per second square. So, say dimension rather than ampere is. Dimensions is not a trouble. I am not looking for dimension. I, am, I, I want to know what it is after all. At the end of the day, what is this? What is, what, what does it represent, the area? So, the area represents, this is, this is your, Newton, this is, this is what? 